Okay, time for another new experiment. The Phantom is warming up over there, which is about halfway between center field and the goal post. Uh, once it's finished warming up, it will mark its home location where it's sitting there on the carrying case. I'm going to fly it from there to center field where I'm going to activate failsafe. When you activate failsafe, it'll hover for three seconds, then climb to 20 meters above its takeoff altitude. And then it'll turn to face home and fly overhead the home location. It hovers there for 15 seconds before deciding to descend and land. That's all normal. Then the second experiment is I'm going to fly it back to center field toggle the course lock home lock switch five times quickly to have it record a new home location only I'm gonna record somewhere up on the sky hopefully 10 15 meters up so the home location will be at a higher altitude than where it's sitting right now then I'm gonna fly back there trigger fail safe and it should climb to 20 meters plus whatever that height is so it's gonna be 20 meters above that height fly over to home and land question is always asked what happens when it comes to its home location which is located above the ground with the motor shut off there and doesn't just drop out of the sky I don't think so I think it's going to keep descending until it touches the ground that's the first step took off home location is over there over the box gonna to fly to center field and we are going to trigger fail safe once we get to center field here center field. It has an addy mode because I have my range limit set to 25 meters and that's just outside of the 25 meters. So there it's hovering over center field. If I flip to fail safe, it's going to, that's fail safe. Click, it'll hover, the flashing yellow light is in fail safe. It'll hover for three seconds, then climb to 20 meters above its takeoff height, which is that. Once it gets to 20 meters, it will turn and face towards home. There it goes and fly over the home position. And once it gets over the home position, it will hover there for 15 seconds, at which point I could regain control. And after 15 seconds, it will start to descend and land, preferably on top of that black box. Time now it should start to descend. There we go. Now we're descending. So that's fail safe working the way it's supposed to. I'm not actually going to let it land because it may not land square on the box. I'm going to flip back to Addy mode to cancel fail safe. Note it descends very slowly and it descends in steps. It kind of goes down a meter or so and then it hovers and thinks about it and waits till it feels ground, but I'm not going to let it land. So back to Addy mode that canceled fail safe. I'm back in control. So now I'm going to fly back to center field and climb to some altitude there. So that's roughly center field. Now we're just going to go up and let's call that good enough. That is, it's drifting away with the wind. Come on back. I'm still in addy mode. So now if I flip the IOC switch between course lock and home lock five times. Two, three, four, five. There, it's blinking green lights rapidly, which means it has recorded a new home position there. And we can test that by flying over here and triggering home lock and pulling back on the stick. I'm in home lock. GPS mode home lock. If I pull back on the stick, it should fly back towards its home position, which is over there. That's cool. So we have successfully marked a new home position at a higher altitude. Now we're going to descend here over our original takeoff point and hit fail safe. And it'll do the same routine, it'll climb, but this time it'll climb 20 meters above that home position, which is already a good 10, 15 meters up in the air. So I'm thinking it'll go up to about 35 meters. That's the plan. So uh, IOC off, fail safe on, click. 
There's a yellow flashing light. One, two, three, hovering for three, and then it starts climbing. So now I predict it's not just going to go to 20 meters above ground. It's going to go 20 plus however high it was when we marked the marked its new home position. So maybe 30, 35, or 40 even. And I don't know how high that was. We can tell later. Now it's turning towards home and it will hover for 15 seconds above its home position. You see that? There it's now over center field over its home position. And that's my timer. That's not good. Let's hope we don't run out of battery right now. So 15 seconds later it's going to start descending. Now the big question is, is it only going to descend to the height of its home position, which is somewhere up in the air, or is it just going to keep descending in steps until it actually lands? And I've never tried this before. I'm hoping it'll land. And hopefully before my battery runs out. It comes down very slowly. I think that's about where we were, where we marked the home position up in the air and it's still descending gradually, gradually, gradually. And it'll just keep descending like that until it eventually feels ground and then it can tell because it hasn't descended more <laughs> and eventually it'll shut off the engines. And this time I think I'm just going to let it land there just to demonstrate that it will land successfully. It hops a couple times when it gets into ground effect it senses that it has not descended any further and it shuts down. Bingo. Beauty.